Hello folks, welcome again. I have another update on my uh, Jaguar XJR EV conversion. Today I'm working on a front transmission mount. So let me quickly show you what it's gonna look like. Currently I have transmission supported by this steel square tube over here so I could take precise measurement. It is located exactly in the spot where it needs to be. And uh, on each side, we, we have those massive bolts which support the uh, front uh, subframe on each side here and on the left one. And uh, they are uh, kind of in the way, so I decided to, to use them. And, and also they are very, very strong. So... So I may as well use them to, to support this uh, uh, transmission mount. So I'm going to basically run uh, aluminum uh, angle from side to side and bolt it uh, to the frame. So here are my components, uh, 3 by 5 aluminum uh, angle, uh, 3 eighths uh, thickness, kind of overkill, but uh, that's the piece that I had, so I'm going to use it. And now as far as I'm mounting this, I created those brackets, the side brackets that you can see here. I didn't want this uh, angle. Uh, bracket to be supported just by by welds so I created this design with a notch so basically this gives us additional support so it's not gonna be just supported by by the welds I just wanted some some extra support so I I figured that this should work uh, pretty well now I'm gonna weld those uh, those brackets in place. So this is as far as the main front mount. Actually, one additional thing is once I have this in place, obviously I'm gonna have to mount transmission to it somehow, right? So I'm gonna use those polyurethane bushings here and I'm gonna drill the holes and I'm gonna use some of the bell house uh, bolts uh, run through and, and su support this uh, transmission with those uh, bushing to give it some some cushion okay let me put this away so I got some additional components here uh, the other thing I'm working on today is uh, cover for the uh, bell housing here I made this cover last night this is uh, uh, 3 16th uh, aluminum piece uh, it was a little bit of work but uh, I, uh, I got it done using some uh, pretty simple tools it would be nice to cut it with CNC but I don't have access right now and I'm kind of impatient sometimes, so I want to get things done. So I just uh, got my jigsaw with a nice uh, metal uh, fine blade. And uh, two hours later, I got this uh, done. So it came out uh, pretty nicely. So this is mainly to, to cover uh, the bell housing uh, of the transmission. And also, this is... Uh, gonna be part of the locking mechanism uh, for input uh, drive shaft so so here is the the center piece that I extracted from the original um, uh, coupler that I purchased for this transmission and uh, uh, I uh, extracted it from from the 
coupler basically I it wasn't too bad I had to drill a couple of uh, rivets and then it came out pretty easily there were some springs attached to it uh, it's kind of weird shape but uh, I'm just gonna use it the way it is I could have trimmed those a little bit but there's really no point of doing this so the way I'm gonna attach it is I machine those uh, spacers here four of them and I'm gonna attach this spline right here in the middle using those bolts Once this is attached, I'll be able to put this uh, whole thing in place, bolt it with all of these bolts all around, and that will be it. Then I can mount it uh, to my aluminum cross member. So let me uh, start on some welding, and I'll get back to you and show you what it looks like. Okay, I'm done welding. So side brackets welded as you can see. Uh, these might not be the most beautiful welds in the world, but they will hold up pretty sure. Uh, this, this is uh, this piece is a little bit challenging for my TIG setup. I only have a small, quite compact. Uh, torch uh, size 17 it's a medium size air cooled torch so with this uh, gauge of uh, aluminum it gets pretty uh, warm quickly so I have to make uh, some breaks to accommodate for this uh, maybe at some point I will upgrade to a water cool uh, torch uh, but this is done uh, I can see uh, the bushings are already in place for of these um, so the next piece here is a bell housing cover with our locking mechanism in place already um, I used um, hardened um, uh, bolts with uh, split washers and high strength uh, thread lock definitely don't want to get this undone while driving so both pieces will go kind of like like this In the car so let me install it in the car and I will show you what it looks like all right uh, transmission is fully mounted now bracket is attached by the four bolts two in the front large ones from the subframe and uh, two smaller ones uh, on the back uh, then transmission is uh, attached by these four uh, bushings this uh, bracket is extremely um, strong and um, I'm also gonna use it to support some other components like for example the battery box the the back of the battery box is most likely gonna also be attached to it um, quick view on the rear mounts again right there right there and from above
Overall, I'm pretty happy with the mount and how it turned out. So with this done, now I can move on to the next phase, which is uh, mounting inverter. So stay tuned, more videos are coming, and until next time.